Hey, hey, welcome to today's episode. We are talking about how to start network marketing for beginners inside of social media. So I know there's a lot of moving parts, right? But we're going to we're gonna nail this down so that you can get started and start to really use this incredible platforms to grow your business, to get more team members and those kind of things. So for those of us that are meeting for the first time, my name is Brandy Shaver. <laughs> When you want to get started on social media, the number one thing is to pick a platform, okay? Um, social media, there's many, many platforms, and it's all going to depend really on who your perfect prospect is. For instance, I'm going to give you an example because sometimes people don't understand what perfect prospect means. Um, if your perfect prospect is someone like me, okay, I am over 30 and I have kids, right? I'm married. Most of us are going to be over on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, those kind of things, right? So if your perfect prospect fits in that category, then you'll want to kind of like think about, okay, you know, does it make sense for me to build my business on Facebook? Does it make sense for me to work over on LinkedIn, right? And now if you were had a business for a younger generation like my kids, then you would want to think about like Snapchat, right? Like building up that kind of thing. So it doesn't really matter what platform, everything that we do here at Beach Boss Influencers um, is transcending above platforms because it's a strategy, not a tactic. So it's important that you pick one, okay? Don't try to do all of them at once. That will come later. But if you're brand new, just pick one platform and start there, okay? So number one. Number two is figuring out um, who your perfect prospect is, okay? Who is it that you want to recruit and who do you want for customers, okay? And these are going to be entirely two different people usually. And as you build out your perfect prospect, um, you know, perfect prospects for each thing, you have probably different products in your in your company that would have a different perfect prospect. Okay. Now, for instance, I'm going to give an example here too, because sometimes it goes over people's heads. And I know it did for me at first too. So, you know, that's totally normal. Um, for your perfect prospect that maybe wants to lose weight, what does that person look like? Um, you know, what are, what are their pains, wants, and desires? Um, you know, how are they feeling? We want to really dial into the emotions of that person because that's how we're going to talk to them in a little bit later to build the know, like, and trust faster. Okay. So, all right. So then number three is to find out where those people hang out. Okay. So like I said before, uh, when you pick your platform, that's going to kind of decide, right, where those people are hanging out. Are they over on Facebook? Are they in Snapchat? You know, do they follow certain gurus? Are they, you know, following Weight Watchers if they're trying to lose weight? You know, maybe um, if you're looking for team members, maybe, you know, they follow some network marketers right now that are helping them try to learn how to do social media, those kind of things. So really dive into those emotions and their feelings because people make decisions based on emotions and they make connections based on emotions and feelings too. So if we can dial into those, how they're feeling, then uh, in your content and things that we're going to talk about here in a second, that will help you uh, connect faster. Okay. So number four, go to those places and make friends with them. Okay. So be interested. Now I'm going to speak how I normally do it because my perfect prospect right now is over on uh, Facebook. So how I do it is I go into groups, um, you know, people, they follow those kind of things and I build relationships with people. So I don't necessarily drop a lot of content in those groups and pages and those kind of things, but I do engage. I do build relationships. So really here, you're trying to be a friend maker. Okay. It's kind of like going into a pool of, um, I'm sure maybe, maybe this example makes sense for you, but inside of an aquarium, right? If you go inside of an aquarium, there's all kinds of different fish, right? Well, let's say that our perfect prospect is the goldfish, okay? We need to go to the place in the aquarium where the goldfish hang out, okay? Now, it doesn't mean that all the goldfish are going to be, you know, coming to us and wanting to join our team and buy our products. It means that those goldfish are our perfect prospects, and it's easier to fish in that goldfish pond than it is to fish in the entire aquarium, right? So, you want to go in and be a human first inside of those groups, inside of those pages, inside of those places that your perfect prospects are hanging out, engaging, you know, um, maybe they're, uh, you know, following Eric Worre, for instance, right? You would go in, you would engage, you would um, provide questions, be interested in them. 
and really being a human first. Okay. I don't want you dropping in their DM saying, Hey, I have, you know, I saw that you posted that you're struggling in your business. I, you know, come and join me. Okay. That's, that's definitely not what we want to, we want to be doing. Okay. We want to build the know, like, and trust first. So be a human first. All right. All right. Number five is, um, to, to pick one social media platform, okay, we talked about that, and then build content that will help your perfect prospect in their problems, okay? Now, what I mean by that is educate them, motivate them, inspire them, and then add some lifestyle of, as well so people can get to know, like, and trust you, okay? You want to be a human. They want to see a connection with you, and that's really the key. Keep it 80% value-based and, you know, stuff that helps them with their problems, okay? And then 20% promotion of what you would like them to do. And really that's just, it's kind of building that ecosystem to where you become um, a person of, of value, right? A person of that they're like, oh, I want to know about losing weight. Oh yeah, I saw that post from Brandy last week. And she was saying, right, like I could drink water, um, you know, go for a 10 minute walk and really start slow, right? Where that's going to be more beneficial to your body than just like going full out P90X, you know, your first day, right? So they understand as they see more and more of your content and you engaging with them, your perfect prospects, that you are a person of value and that, you know, you you have that uh, what they're looking for. So just make sure you keep it 80, 20. OK, so value based content. And this I normally do on all uh, personal profiles. OK, doesn't matter whether it's LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Um, keep it in a personal profile for right now. It builds faster in the organic side of things. Okay. All right. So number six is stay consistent and use an active and a passive approach to building your business. Okay. So as you've built these relationships and this doesn't have to take like, you know, months and months and weeks and months and months, right? It just can happen in a few short days. If you're, if you're really, um, diligent and consistent about what you're doing, right? You're going in, you're um, engaging with that person that you're like, wow, I really would love to work with this person, right? Engaging with that person, asking a few questions, and then it's natural to friend them and get them into your world. But the key is to continue to post uh, valuable content that they are seeing, right? Because you're going and engaging with them. Remember on social media, nothing happens without you being social first. That's why it's called social media, okay? You don't want to be one of those stalkers. You've got to, you know, get out of your comfort zone and post and, and get into other people's uh, lives and really connect with them, right? With the emotional and, and asking about them being interested in them, okay? So number six is stay consistent. And, oh, we talked about that. Sorry. That was stay consistent, active, and passive approach, okay? Oh, that's what I was getting at. I lost my train of thought. So active means going in to those people that you've built those relationships with, right? So if I had built a relationship with you, friended you, we had a little discussion, right? Maybe you'd seen my content for like a week or so. And then, um, you know, I'm like, oh my gosh, like you're totally amazing, right? Like I would love to work with you. Would you love to jump on a Zoom and talk about what that might look like? Okay. This is after the relationship is built. That's an active approach or actively inviting someone to, you know, take a look at a sneak peek, maybe that you're doing on social media in a private Facebook group, or maybe you're doing it on a Zoom or, you know, whatever but you in actively invite as well as passively growing that content and growing that pipeline ecosystem of people to always pull from. Okay. So stick with active and passive. All right. So number seven, I think, <laughs> give yourself time to see results. This is really, really important. Okay. Nothing is going to happen in two days. Okay. We're not Amazon prime. And I know that's the way our mentality has really, um, you know, started to go towards this microwave mentality, like right now, right now, right now, everything's right now, right? And that's how we think our business should be. I would say if you stay consistent to 60 to 90 days with um, posting content, you know, adding new people, really focusing in on, on the content, what you're sharing with education and those kind of things, and you're doing all your DMOs, like you're, you know, what you need to be doing to get people looking at your business, looking at your products, those kind of things. 16 to 90 days, you're going to have so many people to talk to that you like literally are going to be like, I don't know how to keep track of these all. Okay. And the reason I know that is because I tested it out not too long ago. I, I continually detest uh, here and there how things are working and what we teach because I want to make sure it's still working, right? Because everything changes so quickly. So it was just recently that I did that and I was like, oh my gosh, like now I've got way too many people to talk to again. 
All right. So uh, number eight, if you need more and you're like, you know what, this all makes sense, but I need more details. I need, I need more guidance. I need all those things. You can grab the freebie that's going to be in the bio or link, and then we'll see you on the next episode. Have a great rest of your day. And uh, thanks for being here.